based out and it feels good. Someone say amen. amen. Uh, that you are safe. But you may have to come to, to, to this conclusion right now whether we in Christ or not. Life has changed. You all can come to the right church this morning. Let me say it again. Life as we knew it two months ago will never be that again. Amen. We got to face this reality now because I got a word from you. Your social life has changed forever. All the people whose hands you used to shake, it's going to take you a couple of years before you come to a shake in the hands again if you want to be real honest about it. All the people you was hugging, it's going to take a little while to hug them again. It might be a minute before you take a cruise. <laughs> Y'all ain't saying that you're still the truth. It might be a minute before you jump on an airplane because life, as we know it, has changed. Yes. Yeah. And all of our interpersonal relations are on a whole other realm. And this has been a plan of the enemy for a long time and using what God is doing right now because, you know, things that are good could always also be things that are bad. Yeah. And this computer age has taken away the ability of our young people to have interpersonal skills. Yes, sir. Wow. Yes. They don't know how to have a conversation. Come on, sir. But they know how to text. That's true. Mm -hmm. They don't know how to come out for family dinner. They could lay in their bed and watch a movie while dinner's going on. Somebody say amen. Amen. Because things that are meant to good sometimes can end up being bad. And you and I have to accept, because I have a message where God gave me something different this morning as I prayed, that life as we knew it, and you have to become comfortable with it because I'm going to tell you what God said about it, it will never be the same again. Don't be talking about after Corona things are going to go back to normal. They are not. Are you ready for the change? Yeah, no. See, for those Shababai of us who might have been a little bit older, we're a little bit more than 20, Mm -hmm. It may have been, be a little bit more difficult for us than those who are behind us because they live in a world that's already changed. Yes. Y'all ain't yes. saying that. Yes. I'm telling y'all right now, it's not going to sound good and some of our body on back last the school is becoming obsolete. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Remember what you said? Let, can we be honest about it? Oh, yeah. even, I don't even know if we're going to go back to school as we knew it. And if we do, it won't be for long. Right. Come on, sir. Come on. Because that stuff that we will grow up in and the bondage even of school, no matter how good school is, school will help as much people as it hurt. Yes, it do. Come on, Apostle. Anyways, that's not the message. That just came in by the Holy Ghost. I want you to understand that church will not be the same. That's true. That's true. That's it's going to depend on the level of a person's faith how church works for them going forward. Faith is a muscle, you know, we all have it, but if you don't develop it, it don't work for you. So I don't have no more faith than anybody here. Izzy has no more faith than Lawanda, but those who are exercising faith will be able to more adjust to this new realm, this new life, this new dimension that we live in. Some people say all things are becoming new. It's not going to go back to what it was. You have to accept that, but I have good news. Because I've been preparing all week this message on righteousness and the Lord spoke to me right here this morning where we have to understand that in the midst of all this, God brought me, he told me and it brought me great comfort because I was really discouraged this morning. Somebody say amen. amen. When you walk in this walk, dealing with people, fighting devils, dealing with all these things, sometimes things happen that bring discouragement because they don't work out the way you want them to. Someone say amen. Yeah. In the midst of all that, God spoke to me this morning and said, Charles, you need to know and I want you to tell them, my plan has not changed. Amen. Somebody who got that, clap your hands and give God praise. If you got that, I want you to clap your hands and give God praise. I think he wants you to understand that his plan is eternal. And in the midst of all these things that's going on, please hear me, in the midst of all this coronavirus, in the midst of all your human weaknesses, in the midst of all of the weaknesses of the people around you, in the midst of all your disappointments and those things that happen that make you might want to come to the place where you want to give up, I want you to understand that the plan of God that he wrote eternally before he said, let there be light, has not changed. Amen. Yeah. Amen. I'm going to by myself, Is he? Please help me. And you see, what, what, what he, he comforted me with this because you know, sometimes we go through things and we experience things, and the first thing we think that is going to affect the outcome of our lives. 
Many of us in here right now, we, we're looking at, not in here, but many, many of us watching, some in here, we look at this coronavirus thing and we think that it has changed everything about our life. It has, but it has not changed God's plan. Amen. You have to accept that this is a part of his plan and he's yeah. working it out after the, oh, y'all ain't talking about it. He's working it out after the counsel of his will. But when he, he told me to tell you, when he wrote the plan, he wrote this in. Amen. Now, normally when God writes something in a plan, the enemy will come and try to take glory for it. When Jesus went to the wilderness, the enemy showed up to try to exalt himself in the wilderness. So every time God puts you in something that's predestined to get you where you need to go, expect the enemy to come up and show his head and try to take credit to get you out of the will of God. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me right now. And I want somebody to hear me. The plan of God for your life has not changed. It is an eternal plan. It is an eternal promise. It is the word of the oath. So whatever God spoke to you, can I preach this? Whatever God spoke to you is still true no matter what you see. Wow. This is where it comes, Daniel, where God began to tell me, and I have not been on Facebook, and people are trying to go on Facebook right now. It's time to get your word. I am not going to be a part of that. I don't want to be a part of this ruckus going on, everybody prophesying. Somebody say, man. I want to speak to you when God gave me a word for those who sent the Facebook to hear this this morning. And I want you to understand, no matter what it is that you're seeing, what God said, said still reigns. Yes, and this is what happens where we have to get back to the understanding that we are people of faith. Faith cometh by hearing. And by hearing the word of the Lord. So when God gives us a word and we run into a situation, the situation is there because of the word. Tribulation coming because of the word, but it's not to change the word. Y'all ain't talking back to me. I thought the 15 or 20 of y'all here this morning, what is 15? I thought y'all came to church this morning. Are you hearing what I'm saying? What is going on right now has not changed God's plan for your life. At all. This is what we call the trying of your faith. Are you going to look at what you see and what they're saying on TV and change all the outcome and outlooks of your life? Are you going to believe what God said? I'm preaching good. I'm trying to sit down and do this because I, I, want, I want to teach like this for the next season. Are you going to hear what I'm saying? Do you understand? Are, are you listening to the words that's coming out of my mouth? The plan of God for your life in the midst of Corona, in the midst of your human failures, in the midst of failures of people around you, in the midst of things you don't understand. God told me clearly this morning, make sure you understand this because I was discouraged. My plan for your life has not changed. Oh God, if you believe in the sovereign God of all creation, if you, leave, if you believe in predestination, if you confess you have eternal life, like you confess that you have, things that are eternal cannot be changed. Your inheritance is eternal. Your life is eternal. Your salvation is eternal. Your redemption is eternal. All these things are eternal, meaning they cannot be changed, nor can they be affected by anything from the outside. I'm preaching really good here. Eternal means this. It's something that's a perpetual motion going forward that cannot be affected by nothing else. Amen. At all. So it doesn't matter how you treat me or how I treat you, it does not change God's plan for my life. Yeah. It doesn't matter what, 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 what virus come up or what news they get, it does not change God's plan. Y'all yeah, hear me? It does not change God. This is the time when the church needs to stand up and begin to give God praise. Yeah. If we understand, I just want to try to get you to praise it. This is a time when you, when, you, when you stand, I know in whom I have believed. Yes. And I know that he's able to keep that which he's committed unto me. I'm committed unto him. This is a time when we're supposed to stand in our faith. Yes. This is a time when we have to be the light of the world. Yes. Tribulation work in patience. Yes. Paul said, not only so, but we glory also in tribulation. Yes. When tribulation comes, it's time for us to stand strong. God, I feel the Holy Ghost. Yes. I feel the Holy Ghost. Yes. I'm talking to somebody watching me. This is an opportunity for you to stand confessing your faith. The spirit of my faith is I also believe, therefore I speak. So when I'm speaking, I got to be speaking the words of faith. Yes, 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 yes. I cannot be speaking contrary to what God said now, just because they get everybody going crazy. God, oh, y'all don't hear me. Y'all don't hear me. If you hear me, let's say amen. amen. Now is the time when you put your faith in the full effect. Yes, For the just shall live by faith. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. The righteousness of God, that's you and me, is revealed from faith. To faith. Thank you, Holy Ghost. You're so awesome. Oh, yeah, now, the Holy Ghost. Now, that's how the Holy Ghost leads you into a message. The righteousness of God, which you are, 
we are being revealed from faith to faith. I'm telling somebody, and I said this to y'all before, God's getting ready to raise up some people. You all understand? The righteousness of God, those who have received the gift of righteousness, who are not as perfect as you are, who don't, got, who don't have it all together, who ain't wearing no robes, people who God been working on in darkness, the righteousness of God is about to be revealed from, uh, through the measure of their faith, not their good works, not their good looks, not their gifts, not their talent. It's going to be their ability to have confidence in God while they're on the cross. God, I feel it.